Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rabbi Chakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of the great millstone who rule well, and as always, peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect tabernacle of David that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, this is uh, some great news. I'm not sure if our uh, brothers have uh, covered this already, if a brother or multiple brothers that did lessons on it. But this is uh, pretty big. And uh, I'm not a big financial expert, so to speak. But I knew, you know, once I saw the report, I knew this was uh, pretty big. Now, no mainstream media is not going to cover this. But this was just happened few days ago, Israel basically pulled a Judas and snaked America and uh, reduced the petrodollar in their reserves and added the Chinese yuan to it to diversify their holdings in reserve. So this was a straight up Judas move. And this is another death blow, another uh, surgical strike against the American petrol dollar. So, as long as these kind of moves are being made by all these different nations, the more you're going to see the the furtherance of the petrol dollar dying out. It's going to ultimately meet its demise, and that's what the globalists already want. The Central Bank has decided to add the Chinese Yuan to its reserves for the first time ever in an effort to reduce exposure to dollars and euros. This move comes after Brazil decided to quadruple exposure to the Yuan earlier this year. Since 2014, the dollar share of global reserve currencies went from 66% of total allocated reserves to 59% right now. Do you think is the... In, in county. In county. It is becoming a growing trend. Uh, now that uh, Saudi Arabia didn't open up that door for the for the uh, the yuan and all these other BRICS nations, everybody's uh, departing from the petrodollar. They know that it's, it, it has no worth.